Hey Sonny here, so today I want to uh, start to teach you how to play Perry Mason by Ozzy. Uh, I did the first lesson, but it's not really a lesson, it was the uh, actual cover of the entire song that I play along with the uh, recording. So this lesson part two, we'll actually start covering the entire song. And the uh, first thing we want to do, I like to cover the keyboard part mm -hmm. in the beginning. What the keyboard part would, pl would be like if you play it on the guitar. So here are the notes. Start on the string, start on the B string. 3rd fret and 5th fret. Back to 3rd fret and 2nd fret on the G. Oh, before we move on, I forgot to mention that this guitar is tuned to uh, D flat or C sharp. Uh, same thing. So the first string is, uh, is a C sharp. A string is now A flat or G sharp. The D string is now C sharp or D flat. G string is now G flat or F sharp. And the B string is now B flat or A sharp, however you call it. And then you have the E flat in the last string or, or D sharp. Uh, so, okay, so let's back to the keyboard part. So. And you do the same thing again, 3 and 5 on the B, 3 and 10 on the B, do the same thing again, 3, 5, 3 on the B, 2nd fret on the G, and then 3, 5, 3 again on the B, and you end on the 11th fret on the B string, and that's the uh, keyboard part. And then after that, the bass start. If you want to substitute for the guitar part for the bass part, it goes like this. Alright, so what I'm doing is I play. So I play a 5th fret on the A, open A. 3rd fret on the A. 5th fret again on the A. Open A again and 3rd fret on the A. So. And then A5. And then seven six five on the D string, and then uh, eight and seven on the A. So the whole thing goes like this. And after you finish playing the bass lick, the B, uh, and you play a series of chord, it goes like this. Uh, the chord right there is just the uh, three notes you play together. You play the fifth fret on the A, fifth fret on the G, and sixth fret on the D, on the B string. And when you play that, use your index finger blocking the D string, so you can only hear the A string, the D, the G string, and the B string. So you do it one time on the chord, and twice quickly. And then three, and then tw two more times slower, and then three times well, again. So that's all it is. And then it goes to the main riff, goes like this. Okay. Uh, so what I'm doing here, the first part, it's a uh, third fret on the B and fifth fret on the G string. While you play those two notes together, you hold the third fret while you bend the fifth fret on the G string up to seventh fret, full step. So that way, basically, you bring in up the C C note on the fifth fret on the G to a D note on the. And when you bring it up to the D note, it's the same thing as the third fret on the B. So. So you do that one time and you go move to the fifth fret, you do the same thing. And then uh, sixth fret. And then uh, eighth fret and tenth fret. So you give our braid a little bit, give it a little vibrato.
And so the next you'll play the uh, B flat chord, the power chord. And once you play that, uh, that's basically first fret on the A, third fret on D and G together. You slide up your peg. And once you slide up, you, and then you use your finger, slide down as well on the string. So then you play the C power chord, which is uh, A3, and then fifth fret of D and G. So again. So when I play the C chord, after I play the C chord, you play the third fret on the B on the A string, and you play a pinch harmonic. Uh, once you play the harmonic, you gotta uh, vibrate the note. Uh, the one thing I want to talk about the pinch harmonic is that when you you gotta pick it between your pick and your thumb, the flesh of your thumb. Once you pick the note, you gotta lift it up really quick. Uh, you can feel it. And also you gotta find the right spot too, because you move your uh, one trick is that when you do the pinch harmonic, certain spot on your guitar you will not get it. So you can move your hands slightly between the distance between this, uh, your neck pickup and the bridge pickup. You'll find the right note. Just make sure, just keep playing with it. And sometimes you get a different different sound too. So it's a slightly change your distance between uh, your fret and where you pick the string. All right, so. Again, so we play the B, B flat chord, C chord, third fret pinch harmonic, and then A, A open chord. Just open A string, second fret of uh, D, and then you play the fifth fret on the E string, give it a harmonic. So you keep, you, and then you play that lick over and over again. So the entire lick goes like this. Okay. Okay, the next riff goes like this. So while I'm playing is I play an octave note. Basically, it's the same note, play higher and lower. Start from the 7th fret on the G string, this is the D note. And then play the 5th fret on the A string, after that is also a D note. Octave lower. And then open, which is the D string. So basically, you cover 3 octaves. Right. So you play the 3 note. So again, G7, D5, open E string. And you play the third fret on the uh, E string, uh, both E string and A string, and hammer on the fifth fret. And then mute on the E string twice. And then slide up to uh, eighth fret, seven. Uh, by the way, you gotta cover E and A string together. And third fret, and then back to fifth, uh, fifth fret. So, so far with this. Oh, you gotta play hammer on the last part from third fret to fifth fret. Now I call it out as an E string, but it's basically now it's a, actually it's a D flat or C sharp note, okay? So again. And then you open E string again one time. And then back to the same thing again. Now after you play that, 8th uh, fret to 7th fret, I'm sorry, 6th fret to 5th fret, and you play the 3rd fret on the uh, E string, and give it a pinch harmonic. So the whole thing goes like this. Next second time you play the same thing, it ends differently. It goes like. It ends on the third fret of E and A together and just dead stop. And they start over again the same same uh, same riff. So that's the uh, the second main riff of the song. 
Okay, now we're going to cover the pre-chorus riff. This is right after you finish playing the verse riff. I'll just show you into the, the chorus. So this is pre-chorus, and I'm going to start playing at the very end of the verse riff into this part. So. So that's the uh, uh, pre-chorus riff. So and you will finish up playing the uh, last part of the, uh, the the main the the reverse riff, and you play the uh, fifth fret and third fret of E and A string, and the third fret and the open string, and then you play fifth fret only E and A. You do that six times. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then open E, A, and D string together uh, five, five times. And the sixth time you end on the uh, D chord. So basically you're playing the open E, A, D string with the second fret of G and third fret of B. So that part right here again goes like this. So one two three one two three one two three one two three and you play that twice on the D chord and lift up your index finger only still playing the same thing put it back on the index finger okay and the second time you do the same thing on the fifth fret of E A and D string uh, you do it five times And you play the seventh fret on the E string pinch harmonic, and third fret on the E string pinch harmonic, and you do the same thing again on the D chord. And you repeat the thing we just showed you the first time. One two three, one two three. Open. One two three, one two three. And you play a C chord, C power chord. And you play pinch harmonic on the fifth fret on the G string. Okay, and then the next part you'll play E and A string together. So it goes like this. All right, so you play five three four, five three four again, five six five, three five three. So repeat the whole thing again slowly. And that goes back to the uh, intro riff, which is the chorus riff again. Okay, here's a pre-solo section. Uh, I call it a bridge. It goes like this. To the solo. So the uh, what I'm playing here, start from the B flat power chord, which is uh, first fret on the A string, third fret on the D. They play pinch harmonic on the second, on the third fret on the D string, second fret, and fourth fret on the A. They play the uh, B flat chord again. They play the uh, seventh fret on the D string harmonic. 5th fret on the D string harmonic and then you play the E and A string together you play the uh, 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 like a two, two note chord 2nd fret on the E and A 3rd fret on the E and A 
and 5th fret on the ENA. And then go to the 8th fret on the uh, ENA. 5th fret on 7th uh, fret on the ENA. 5th fret. 2nd fret. So far with this. Next part is just those uh, single notes, the sixth fret on the B, and then six, eight, six on the B, slide up to eight, actually slide, slide up to ten, slide, slide back down to eight. So again, that part goes like this six, six, eight, six, play the eighth fret on the slide up to ten, slide back down to eight, and then eleventh fret. It's all on the B string. 10th fret, 8th, 5th fret, and goes back to the uh, the intro bass riff again. The only difference I'm playing, I'm playing 7th fret on the D string, instead of playing one time, I'll play it play twice. So, You do that four times at the last time, and it goes to the solo. The that one chord right there I just showed you earlier is uh, is A5, G5, and B6. And it goes in the solo. Okay, here's the first part of the solo. So you let the and you do the mute twice. So that first part right there, you mute twice, just dead string, right? You grab second fret of G and B. And while you're holding down the, those notes, you bend the 12th fret on the G string up while you the third fret uh, on the B string, your pinky stays stay where it is. So you do it four times, and then after that you do quickly, you do a... a, a So after you play that four times, you do the same thing six times, quickly, and then just the 12th fret on the G string by itself six more times, and the next part, you play the 12th fret again, release, pull off on 10, and play the 12th fret on the G, D string, and then D, 12, G, 9, and 10. 12 on the G, 9th on the G, and hammer on the 10th fret. 9 again on the G, 6 on the G, hammer on the 7th fret, 6th fret on the G. So. Next part. So what I'm doing is I play the sixth fret on the G string and hammer on and just keep doing down the seventh fret. You do that twice. You do that twice and then you do stuff with the hammer on the ninth fret. So you go from ninth fret, tenth fret, twelfth fret. And then fourteenth fret and then seventeenth uh, fret. And then 19th fret and 21st fret. So it goes like this. So every time you pick it, so you pick the 9th fret, pull off the 7th fret, hammer, and then pull off the 6th fret, hammer on back to 7th fret. Do it twice. 10th fret. 12th fret, 
14, 17, 19, 21. So we play faster, it sounds like this. Now, if you want to, you can use a pick to tear them instead. I don't really like it. Uh, I, I think Zach does that, but I just use my finger. Uh, so you, after you finish playing that, you'll grab the 15th fret on the uh, E string, bend up. And you, next time you bend it up again, but you gotta, while you bend up the 15th, 15th fret on the E string, you kind of bring the, uh, the B string up so you, gotta, you can uh, pick both strings together. So you kind of sound like. They play the 13, 15 fret on the E string. Okay. And then 13 fret on the E, 12 on the E hammer on the 13 fret, and 12 fret on the E. So. Okay, the next lick goes like this. Uh, so that lick right there, start off from the 10th fret on the E string, B string, slap the 13th fret. And then you play 10th fret on the uh, E string with your index finger. And you pick 15th fret on the E string with your pinky. You pull off 13th fret and 10th fret. And 13th fret on the B and 10th fret on the B E string. So. And you do the same thing again, pull off 15th fret, 13, 15, 10, 13 on the B, 10 on the E. So do that four times. Two, three, four. And you slide from 13th fret to 15th fret up on the B string. And then play the uh, 12, 13th fret on the E. And then 16th fret on the E string, pull off 15th fret, pull off 13th fret. 15th fret on the B and 13 on the E. Do that twice. And the third time, you, you, you move your pinky and do the 17th fret instead of 16th fret and pull off 15, pull off 13. And 15 on the B and 13 on the E. Do that one more time. So the whole thing goes like this, so really. Play the 10th fret on the E and 13th fret on the B string bend up. Next part. So while you while you bend up 13th fret on the B, you play the 13th fret on the uh, E string with your pinky. So you bend up 13th fret on the B, your pinky holding down the 13th fret on the E string. And then just a single note on the 13th fret on the B string. And then 10th fret on the E, and then 12th fret on the G string. Slightly half step, bend up, and then 11th, uh, 10th fret again on the E, and then 13th fret on the uh, B string. So that one last part goes like this. And after you finish playing that, you'll play the 13th fret on the B and 10th fret on the E together. Uh, you bend up 13th fret full step and slowly release back there. And you play 10th fret on the B string and then 10th fret on the B and G together. And then 12, 10, 12 on the G, D string. And then 12 on the G and B. 
and then 10, 12, 10 on the G string. You bend up with your ring finger, 12th fret, full step. And you use the pinky and play the 13th fret of B. 13 on the E. And then you play all three notes together. So that whole thing slowly goes like this. Next time you finish up, I'll play the 14th fret on the uh, D string, hammer on the 15th, 17th fret, and do the same thing on the G string. You can hammer on, just pick the first note. If that's easier for you, or you can pick it. And you play the 15th and 14th fret on the D and slide down. do the uh, it's the same uh, riff at the end of the uh, pre-chorus all right so that's the whole solo and that's one more riff at the very end of the song goes like this So what I'm doing is I'll play the open E and A string together, slightly mute. And I play the third fret on the E and D string only, skipping the A string. How do I do that? I use my index finger blocking the A string so you can only hear the, the third fret on the uh, E string and D string. And because I drop down tuning on the E string, so you basically play an octave, those two notes, or third fret is, uh, is the same note, it just one's higher, one's lower. And slowly, when you, once you play that note, you gotta slowly bend both notes down slightly. Do the same thing on the fifth fret this time. Back to third fret. And then open E, fifth fret on the E, open E. And then fifth fret on the E again, bend on the E string and D string here. Quickly bend down and release. So the whole thing goes like this. And just repeat that over and over again. And ends on the open E and open A string. <laughs> 